This is RadioOnFire.com. Yours truly, Diamond K, in here. Thank you for joining me. Broadcasting from the Radio on Fire studios here in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, summer, summer feels like it is officially here, almost 90 degrees outside. Goodness gracious. Uh, today's broadcast brought to you in part by the upcoming reality show, Chase the Dream Baltimore. See a group of fresh and talented artists trying to make it big in the city and beyond with personalities as strong as their rhymes. Watch them navigate through life love and the entertainment business who will rise to the top while they chase the dream visit facebook.com slash chase the dream now for more info on that uh, a lot of things i want to get into today a lot of things i want to talk about the sister of freddie gray is uh in a degree of trouble big trouble actually uh, a visit to a maryland prison has led to criminal charges alleging drug smuggling for the sister of Freddie Gray. Now, investigators said this uh, again underscores the problems uh, for you know drugs and other contraband being smuggled into Maryland correctional facilities. Carolina Gray is accused of trying to uh, deliver Suboxone to someone in Hagerstown. So that, uh, that is the uh, situation first reported by uh, WBAL here in Baltimore. Now, here's what happened. So they're, they're saying that back in October 2016, October 22nd to be exact, uh, she was visiting an inmate in Hagerstown and she is alleged to have dropped a small package containing Suboxone on the floor. Now, if you are familiar with Suboxone, it is a legal drug. Uh, it is used primarily to help get people off, uh, to wean them off of heroin. Okay, and uh, as I said, it is a legal drug. Now, the the, the catch here is that it is against the law to bring it in a correctional facility. That's, that's, that's the issue here. So, as I said, she's visiting an inmate in Hagerstown, and they allege that she dropped this package on the ground. And here's, here's where we get to the weird part. They're saying that they saw the package being delivered on the floor. Now, the inmate supposedly placed his foot over the package to conceal it. So you know how you drop something down? You know when somebody drops some money or you see some money on the ground and you kind of put your foot down over top of the, over the money uh, and kind of slide it to you? That's what they're trying to say that he did. Now, the weird part is, is that this whole thing was observed by COs, correction officers, this is what the Office of Professional Standards for the Department of Public Safety and Correctional Services. They're saying the visit ended. Correctional officers monitored uh, the visitation and noticed the package and began investigating. So here's the thing. They're saying that, and here's where the whole thing comes from. They saw this package on the ground for whatever reason. Maybe he wasn't able to pick it up some kind of way. And they see the package. Maybe they look at the tape. I don't know. So they're claiming that they have this on tape, right? That's what they're saying. Uh, but um, the inmate did not pick up the package, but faces sanctions and has been moved to another prison. So he did not actually pick it up but they're saying that he attempted or some kind of way he was contacted by her, and that is what's causing all of this fuss. Now, they are saying this is her sister, and of course we remember Freddie Gray, who died in police custody back in 2015. Uh, so because it's Freddie Gray's family, yeah, because here's the thing, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, Eight months later, now all this stuff is coming to light. They're saying that they're trying to be cognizant of the fact 
that it was a reality, uh, a local, national, and international news story involving the Gray family, and they want to have their act together and do it the right way. That's what they're saying. Um, so they want to be delicate with with this. Uh, the incident involving her is, is, as I said, over seven months ago, and they're uh, still uh, investigating. This pr prison officials said that their probe continued uh, crime lab, and they determined, it took them eight months to determine this, that the package contained 90 strips of Suboxone, which I said is legal, uh, and it, it helps doctors manage an opioid dependence, a.k.a. heroin addiction. Uh, but it is illegal to bring this into a prison in May. The, um, uh, the outbreak, is outbreak the right word of, uh, you know, drug possessions and facilities and all that kind of stuff has just been getting out of control uh, but um, they're saying, and if you try to smuggle drugs into their facilities, they're going to try to put you in jail. And so that's that's what's saying. Um, you know, they're trying to figure out now if she's been involved in other uh, drug smuggling attempts. We'll see what the case is with that and uh, keep you posted on that let us know your thoughts in the comment section instagram facebook twitter at the diamond case show at radio on fire are they picking on the gray family let us know your thoughts